If you can't see Jesus, then you don't know Jesus. If you don't know Jesus, how are you going to be like Jesus? So I don't want you to waste your whole life running helter-skelter, looking for shelter, going through all the, the routine of a, a religious Christian life and miss the big picture. And what is the big picture? Jesus. So how many of you want to be like Jesus one more time? Put up your hands, right? Okay, right. Let's roll out our sleeves. Let's get ready to work. Because from today, we have a goal. Our goal in 2020 is to have a clearer picture of Jesus Christ. And this year, in every sermon that I preach, I hope I paint a clearer picture for you. So let's be very clear. The character profile, this is how Jesus is like. The character profile of Jesus Christ is the fruit of the Spirit. This is the Jesus that we see in action in the Gospel stories. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. A Jesus overflowing with the fruit of the Holy Spirit. As Christians, He lives His life in us every single day. Jesus is in heaven, seated at the right hand of the Father, but every day He lives His life in you and in me through the Spirit, by the Spirit, right? Over and over again, He's living through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. And that's why the Holy Spirit has another name. It's called the Spirit of Christ. Yeah? The more you let the Holy Spirit work in you, the more like Christ you become. The more like Jesus you become. And if we allow Him, the Holy Spirit will every day transform us to be Jesus-like. Christ-likeness is the fruit of the Spirit. You heard me mention this at the anniversary. You, you heard Pastor Bob talk about it a few weeks ago. And we can't talk enough. We can't emphasize this enough. The more Christ-like we are, the more we see the display of the fruit of the Spirit in us. And let me tell you, it is very hard to grow the fruit of the Spirit. Very hard. Without the Holy Spirit, impossible. What is the fruit of the Spirit? Love. Joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such, there is no law, right? The nine fruits of the Holy Spirit. This is the description, the total description of Jesus' character. His affections. He's very loving. He's very kind. He's good all the time. This is... His disposition, he's long-suffering, he's very forbearing, he's full of self-control. This is his virtues. If I want to profile myself, if I want to know, am I growing or not? Am I becoming holier or not? Am I becoming like God? I don't have to go any further. I just compare myself to this list in Galatians 5. I just check, am I full of love, joy, peace? Am I full of long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control? Do I have them in my life? This is the profile of Jesus Christ. This is Jesus' automatic response under pressure. <coughs> easy to be loving. Easy to be kind. But when you are under pressure all the time, <laughs> when you are under stress, is this the fruit that's in display? Joy, uh, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self -control. Is this, are these coming forth? Or is it something else? Maintaining all these under pressure is very hard. I want to be frank with you. It's very hard. I've been a Christian now. For almost 46 years. And I can tell you now, it's still the hardest thing to, for me to achieve every single day. And without the Holy Spirit, it is not possible. We can grow by faith and move in power to a certain extent, and then you face a wall. Because you can't break through that ceiling of power and faith unless you're filled with the measure of the fullness of God 
And that can't happen unless you have the fruit of, this, of love. Without the fruit of joy, you can never walk in God's strength because the joy of the Lord is my strength. That is why when you look at Luke chapter 10 and verse 18, I believe, Jesus was faced with so much stress. And yet the Bible says he's full of joy through the Holy Spirit. You go back and read Luke 10 verse 21. Full of joy through the Holy Spirit. Joy is a supernatural gift that comes from heaven above. It's the joy of the Lord. It's the joy of the Spirit. Life and people can be very disappointing. You don't believe it to be true? Come and serve God in full-time ministry. You'll find out. <laughs> Life and people can be very disappointing. But we don't want to lose the fruit of kindness. Or to become cynical. Or jaded. You know, when you're jaded by life, you lose enthusiasm. You just lose enthusiasm. You don't want to serve. You don't, know, you don't want to meet people. You don't want to face people. And we can get very opinionated and very cynical and very gossipy because we are disappointed again and again and again. And we forget that when all is said and done, it is still kindness that leads people to repentance. 